at home with me. This is huge. I was literally having to cover my dignity and be like, hi. a month from I think it was like a day or so ago or it actually been a month from the 6th yeah it's literally been a month and a day since I have moved into the house so let's just call it the move in slash renovating decorating just moved in vlogs who knows but obviously if you guys catch up on my previous vlog I was in Dubai so we had just shy of a week in Dubai which was really nice we didn't get the weather we wanted but we made the most of it and it was really nice it was actually my first time going so if you want to catch up on that I will leave it on the screen and down below and then obviously if you guys are up to date on the other vlogs I've been doing a moving vlog series on here so like I said we moved into this house if you are new here just a month ago and it's just been kind of settling in finding my feet and especially since I've been back from Dubai I feel like I've just kind of been finding my feet a little bit more in the house because at first I was a little bit freaked overwhelmed and it was all just a bit too much which is obviously something that I didn't kind of take on board when I moved if you guys saw the first move vlog I definitely had a few wobbles with leaving that apartment but then obviously this now being our own house we own it um and just all the adult life things that come with it bills and getting used to different things with the house like the electrics the water council tax you name it so yeah we've just been finding our feet obviously as you can see behind me we are in the middle of decorating and obviously you, you saw the first part of this video it was our anniversary weekend which was really nice and we just spent it home wholesome day and we were actually decorating because you just got to do these things i'm kind of a person where i just have to get it done like i'm such a control freak i want it done asap chris is like you know we need to live in it a bit like see how it is i'm like no i've already got my plans in place i've got the mood board set i've had them set for months so it's just little by little ordering furniture and trying to just take each room as it comes with decorating and renovating and as i've mentioned in previous vlogs part of this house is grade two listed so all of the planning process is taking a while as well and just contractors we've had in i just feel like everyone is kind of so booked up and busy it's hard to nail down the good people to do the jobs so hopefully that is going to be underway very soon we've had three different quotes well this we're going to be getting another quote this weekend for our living space which you guys haven't yet seen and i'm saving for that vlog of when we hold when we're completely renovating it because i think it's going to be so great to show the before and after and the plans i have in place for that room that's one of the rooms i'm so excited for and definitely the one that i saw the complete vision when i first walked into it so we haven't really been spending that much time in there because I'm just kind of like, oh, it's not how it's meant to be. Obviously, I'm not saying this in the wrong way. We all move into a house that's never going to be as we want at first. And it's just living in it, understanding it and finding what we need first. So it's a priority. So obviously just trying to prioritize each room as we can and go from there. But we have started to decorate the two guest bedrooms. One, because I'm using one as like a makeshift office and kind of like filming setup before we renovate the full office, which is outside, which is going to be a lot bigger project. So it's just kind of like a makeshift area for me for now. And obviously we wanted to paint it anyway because we're going to be having guests come around soon. 
and then we've also started painting this other guest bedroom which again I'll be showing you in this vlog um, we were painting on our anniversary so I'll clip into that so you can kind of see the updates of what's been happening so far and then I'll come back and update you on what I plan on doing the rest of this vlog. Also disclaimer before I get into those clips I don't look like this at home usually if you're thinking why have you got a full face of makeup on? It's because I'm actually going out later with Chris. It's my Christmas present. We're going to Cirque du Soleil, which is really exciting. It was one of the presents he got me for Christmas. So I've just done my makeup ready because I'm going to be doing all the housework and showing you some new in stuff from Zara Home as well that we've been getting. And I've got to go to like B&Q and all of that jazz. And then I've basically got to rush off to my Pilates class and straight to that. And also, very exciting, but I'm going to the Brits this weekend. So I wanted to trial out a bit of makeup and I was just trying on my dress and like the full outfit. And I feel like you never kind of get the vision if your makeup isn't done. So I wanted to just kind of test a bit of my makeup, try on the outfit. So just a disclaimer, I don't usually look like this. So I'm gonna get started on this bedroom. We're going to go with the same colour, which is the Pharaoh and Ball. This is the Windborn White, and we actually painted the other bedroom, as you saw, in this colour. Just because we're only going to be doing a few walls, because the back wall is going to be wallpaper, which has arrived, which I will show you. Which I actually featured in one of the other vlogs when I had the samples, and now it's arrived. It literally comes so fast. So we've got a little bit of paint left over, which obviously I need to just mix up because it's gone a bit dry. And then we've got two of these which should do the walls that we need to because the main walls are what are going to be wallpapered. So I've just gone round with all the frog tape as you can see on the windows and everywhere just so obviously that's all ready to go. I feel like that's what takes the longest when it comes to painting, just preparing it all. arrive and this is for the study and the hallway so I obviously don't want light grey but let me just show it you on my phone because I feel like it looked so much different on the website so I'm intrigued to see how this is going to look on the wall I'll show you that after I've also gone for old white mouse's back this is definitely more of like a deeper brown but I've seen this online on a few interior websites and accounts and it looks beautiful and then as for the study, I'm going for a deep green. So I've gone Beverly and Trenon. I'm butchering that. I'm sorry. But yeah, there we go. And London Stone. So I've actually got Oxford Stone. So I'm going to compare the two of those. And let's just try these on the wall and see. For reference, this is what light grey looks like on the website as you can see it looks a lot more like beigey colored which is what I'm trying to get with the hallway so I'm hoping it looks like that because light gray in my head obviously is more of a gray color um and then these are the other colors so we've got the treron honestly I cannot say it right so this is definitely more of like a lighter green beverly which is a deeper green I did like this but this is the archive collection this is old white london stone Oh, and a random gif. Um, but there you go. These are some of... Oh, and Mouse is back. These are some of the colours that I've gone for and to show you on the website what it's going to look like. Okay, so I'm going to test it on this part of the wall, which is obviously just down here. Sorry, the focus is playing up. But this is the one that I cannot pronounce. This is a... I mean, it looked a lot lighter on the website, but this is actually looking a little bit darker. Now I've put it on the wall. It's such a lovely shade of green, though. And then this is Beverly. As you can see, this is a lot richer green. I feel like this is maybe, I don't know, we'll see what it looks like. This is giving me more like primary green, whereas I'm actually leaning towards this one a bit more, which I didn't think I would. So 
So now I've put these both on the wall. I actually put them on this wall as well because this is where the light comes in. I actually think I prefer this one. I just think this is going to be quite a nice muted, more like have an earthy tone which will match with the rest of the house but still keep this room a little bit different with the green whereas i think this is giving me a bit too more like rich primary color whereas i think this actually will go with the rest of the house with it being more like beiges earthy tones okay now i'm trying london stone on the hallway so this is obviously going to go all up this wall i've took the stair runners off if you guys saw in the first video um, and then we're obviously going to be panelling this and changing the stairway but as you can see the hallway is quite big with the ceiling and it goes all the way around so I'm definitely going to have to get a painter in to do this and the panelling because I think it's just too much of a job. This is the colours that I've obviously tested with the sample so we've got the mouse's back which is a gorgeous brown shade but I think it's just going to be too dark for the hallway. London Stone has actually surprised me because this is the one that I didn't think I would like and this is giving more beige vibes which is exactly what I wanted. Old White is actually looking a little bit like greeny grey. Now I don't know if it's the colour underneath but I swear all of these colours look so different on our walls compared to when I'm seeing it online and like in other people's houses and then this is the light gray so out of these four i need to make a decision okay now i've tried the samples on the walls i've actually just had my zara home order delivered and i've got to say i ordered this yesterday at like must have been like 4 or 5 p.m and it's come next day i did not pay for next day delivery so that was very impressive but it also come at the most awkward time because i was halfway trying my dress on which i'm going to be wearing for this weekend like i said to you guys and two ups delivery men turn up at my door i was literally having to cover my dignity and be like hi um yeah come in and deliver the parcels so it was very awkward always find my deliveries come at the worst time in, like when i've come out the shower or something anyway let's unbox these but before we do i want to kind of show you what's going on in this brain of mine and the mood boards that i kind of have in place for these rooms i've been talking about and showing you obviously the samples for okay so whilst i am sat here just planning things out, I thought I would actually give you kind of like an in-screen feel of how I kind of put these mood boards together and explain them through for the rooms that I'm on about, like the study, the hallway, this dining room. It's just easier for me to visually see something. Like I want to see how the rug is gonna look under the table. I want to see if like a black sideboard is gonna work with the wood or more of like a rustic one. Just cause when you are obviously perching these furniture pieces, they are investment pieces, so you don't want to be getting it wrong. So for me, I'm such a visual person. I have to visually see something to like understand it. I like to play around with it, see how it looks. Obviously, these are just kind of like top scope mood boards. I haven't done this in any kind of like 3D format or any kind of like CAD format, anything like that. This is just a visual way of me to put it together and see the rooms and then kind of understand if like that light will work with, you know, like hanging over the table or if the pendant light will work in the hallway with the color of the wall. So just again, just I'm going to show you and talk you through it so you can understand what I mean of what's going on here on my screen. So these are the mood boards I create and I break it down for each room. But as you can see here, this is for the dining room. And funny enough, I actually made this mood board before we even moved and I'd already picked out the two shades, as you can see from Far and Ball and kind of seen what they look like. And you can see that I already picked the Beverly one as like my bigger option here because that's the one I thought I would go for. With the study room, I'm still undecided on the layout of the furniture, but you can see I've kind of circled here. I think an accent chair would work quite well. I've also put a little section that we're taking for inspo for the part which we're gonna make a little study area for Chris, like a desk, we're gonna have a nice blind. I've already got a chair like that from Six the Residence, put a little, just make it really cozy for him in that corner for him to work. Then we've already got the rug down in there, which I feel like works perfectly with the green colours. We've had it previously from Zara Home. But I'm just decided on the furniture in terms of the sofa, if I want to get like a chase or just kind of like a two or three seater. And then also we've got to figure out the fireplace because we've got to get planning to see if we can kind of change the brick colour. 
But yeah, you can kind of see how I scope it together and put different pieces of furniture in to see how it would sit together and also just draw out inspirational pictures. So then it's easier for me to also show like the contractors when I want to look at doing like the built-in shelves and also I want to obviously take out the wall and maybe do like some big doors there, which I've just brought some inspiration onto this. Don't know if I would actually go for those doors, maybe more like crittle. And this is for the dining area. And again, I feel like I've been a bit like going back and forward with this room, especially the color, but the two we seem to like are stony ground. It's not Oxford stone. It's actually London stone, I believe that we like. And we're deciding on the paneling because as you can see in the picture in the middle, this paneling is a lot different to what we want, but I actually thought the ceiling idea would be amazing in here. However, because we are going to be renovating in terms of going through to the kitchen, I don't know if it would work. So it's just kind of bringing some ideas of what I may have for the dining room. This is just to show me how it would look with the curtains at the back of the table, because this is what I'm trying to look for. Some nice kind of like beigey linen, big kind of draped curtains over the front window. And then I'm also thinking about going for a black sideboard. I feel like I have honestly opened so many tabs over the past few weeks over this damn sideboard. I cannot make a decision. See, it's going to be such an investment piece for us that we can just forever have. And even if we were to move home in the future, it will just forever be in our home. So obviously, because this is our first home, we are looking at spending in terms of investment pieces. And this is the light fixture I'm thinking above the table. So again, it's just seeing if it works. Here with like a wooden table, I want to get like a big olive tree. And then here I want to do a vintage gallery wall on the back wall, which I think will work perfect. And I also just wanted to visually see the rug under the table. Again, this is no means of artwork here, guys. This is just a quick scope for me to see if it works. And then also for the hallway, you can see here, I've got a lot of inspirational pictures in terms of the color and the paneling we want on those walls. And also the stairway, because we've got to factor in we are going to be changing the banister and looking at a runner. And I even went into the details, like for me to just know what I need to get for like the console table. I love this lamp. It's actually from Dunham. I think it's like £40 or something. It's such a good steal. So I'll link that for you guys. A little, obviously a bowl here you can see just to put our like change and keys and stuff. And then just decorate it with like a picture frame. And I've also got this link. I also found this lighting fixture on Dunelm as well, which I love to hang over the front door as you walk in. So we're going to be changing that fixture. And yeah, I thought it would just be a good way to give you guys a little bit of an insight and also visually see what's going on in my brain of mine. One thing I invested in, or should I say probably Chris invested in, was a box cutter because we had so much recycling from the move and obviously when we get our parcels and stuff I was ruining so many of our knives and I don't know why you know like the little things that you need you just always put off but glad I got this so this box actually come like this I don't know if they were meant to have it quite open but clearly don't need the box cutter for this one a lot of the stuff I got from Zara Home, by the way, was in the sale. So hopefully, by the time this video goes up, you guys might even still be able to get your hands on it if you need some of these pieces. So it was some good savings. And also, I went into H&M Home in Regent Street, and I picked some bits up. And a good little tip is always check on the app if it's the same price, because I picked up three different things. And on the app, they were in the sale, which was literally like a quarter of the price and in store it was full price i think they do warrant it but i just thought it's easier then to order on the app and get it delivered but i'm not so sure if they do that with our home given that they've shut a lot of their stores down now i think the only one left is high street ken in london if i'm wrong quote me on that but to my knowledge but anyway yeah this is an online order i'm going off track here so i got a photo frame because i want to put this in our living room when we have a lovely kind of back table, a wooden reclaimed one that I'm going to do behind the sofa. We've got so many lovely pictures like from our engagement, both of our sister's weddings, just like so many things I want to put in the house and make it feel homely. I also like to put little Polaroids in these, I think they look really cute. There's a lampshade that I got, which again was out of the sale and I thought it could look maybe nice upstairs in the hallway. got catfish for this because again this was in the sale but I thought this was a lot smaller 
Maybe I ordered the bigger one because there was a, I swear there was a small, medium, a large. I only wanted a small one. It was meant to be for my bedside table to put a plant in it. Oh well, you can always make use of these plant pots. Something bigger to fill it, which I'm also going to show you. I went shopping at one of our local garden centres and I found some amazing finds for like rustic pots, um, olive trees, just so much cheaper than what you see online. Um, so yeah, this has definitely been a catfish. I thought it was going to be a lot smaller, but here we are. Nice um, pot. This is same 29 and 99 euro, but obviously that's euros. I definitely believe I got this in the sale for a lot cheaper. Guys, I've done it again. I completely catfished this. I thought this was a lot smaller. Unless they're getting the order wrong, but I ordered medium and this lampshade is huge. I mean, obviously it needs decreasing, but I quite liked the style of it. It's a little bit rustic. Obviously it needs to be hung, but I mean, this is obviously doing it no justice. I definitely feel like this is a lot bigger than what I thought it was gonna be, but I think it will still work upstairs. So I'll try it out Comes with also the rope, which I liked because I got these amazing lights when I was in Spain visiting my parents. And I never got to put them up in the apartment and I cannot wait to put them up when we have our kitchen done. They're like rope bulb lights. They just look really rustic and lovely. So this obviously goes with the light fixture and it's got the ceiling attachment. Oh my Jesus. What is wrong with me? This is huge. Guys, it's actually bigger than me. I think I could even fit in it, should we try? I'm scared if I fit in it and it falls. And I bet you the delivery man will come again. I mean, I don't know how I'm gonna find a plant or a tree this big. I definitely thought this was smaller. I mean, I should have probably just checked the measurements, but I just got away with myself last night. Probably had a glass of wine in hand. <gasps> Ordering stuff from Zara, but I mean, I definitely need a big plant for this. I think it's too big. I think this has got to go back. I believe this was in the sale. I am one of those suckers. If something's in the sale, I'm just like, add it to my basket, even though I probably don't need it. But I did want to find a lovely big rattan basket to put in an olive tree for the dining room. This was originally 129 euros. I'm gonna have to check the app. I think I got it for like 40 quid. I mean, <laughs> We can see how it's gonna look, but I can probably guess it's gonna be too big. Oh my God. Okay, and the rug has also arrived. It's super heavy. I might need Chris to help me with this, but we're gonna attempt to do it on my own. Oh my Jesus. But let's unravel this. This is 200 by 300. So I'm now thinking, is this actually too large? Because I was struggling to find one that's going to fit under the table and the chairs. So I feel like I'm just going to unravel it and see. But I don't know how I'm going to move the chair. I mean, the table, sorry, on my own. Meanwhile, this one has got a new bed, haven't you? And he has been loving it. Even though he is very small for it, as you can see. I'm going to put some blankets and toys and stuff in here for him. But it is a lovely boucle one, which matches perfect with the chairs. And this is a teddy one. And I always find it's hard to find good dog beds. I love the wicker one we've got from Amazon. But obviously, because we've got a few rooms now, it's nice to have like some beds kind of scattered around the house for him to find just comfort spots. Especially as we're trying to like get him used to the house and like a new routine. But he looks so swallowed by this. But if you do have a dog, highly recommend. Okay, so the rug is down and it actually fits the space perfectly, which I'm very happy about. And I think it works really well with the colours in the room. I did stain the table. Chris thinks we should stain it again. But I actually don't know if this is kind of like the perfect in-between wood that we were looking for. But I'm actually very happy with how this rug looks. So this was from the Zara sale. All of the other rugs are normally around like 350 for this size. And this was 99 or 90 pound. So it was a really good saving. And I was looking for a while to see like what would fit this space. Because we were looking at like maybe a vintage style like in the study. But I just, we, when we put it under here it just didn't work. Um, yeah, and then I've just put the pot on the middle of the table for now. Obviously these don't um, fit right in it. I'll get a proper planter for it, but 
yeah, I think I'm actually very happy with how this rug has turned out. And I have to say, ignore this door by the way, we are changing it, and obviously the paint samples. This, as much as I thought it would be too big, and obviously Bailey's bed isn't staying there, it kind of works in the corner. Just picture, obviously this is gonna be painted and panelled, this whole wall. This is gonna have a vintage frame gallery wall on there, and then this is gonna be a big sideboard, a lovely lamp, and then a nice big olive tree in the corner. Do you know what? I honestly thought it was gonna to be too big, but I actually think it kind of works. So these are the handles that I ordered, but I actually think they might be too small. It could be like a nice small dainty feel on the cabinets, but I just think maybe they do do a bigger one, but I think the bigger ones are more like, they look to me more like, you know, like a wardrobe handle where it's quite a lot bigger. Also ignore my fake tan situation. I'm gonna be sorting that out for the weekend. But yeah, I think, I don't know. What do we think? Are they too small for the space? But I don't know if that's just given because this is very long. It could work. I'm gonna unscrew it and then just see how it looks on one door. And this is the other guest bedroom, which I'm not sure if I've shown you guys yet, but we actually ended up painting this before we went to Dubai, literally hours before we left the airport, we were doing the second coat. So this is again, the same color as in the other room, the Wimborne white, which again, it's like that in between. It's not yellow, it's not stark white, which we like. And we are gonna plan to panel the walls in here, but obviously we literally did this and then went to Dubai and only just got back. So I've just styled this little area here with a chest of drawers. These are actually from Olivia's, I believe, they are coming in and out of stock and I found it super similar, which I will link down below for you guys. And you guys know with Olivia's, you can save 10% off with my code. I'll put it on the screen again. And I've just styled, I love this lamp. This is the one that I got from Soho Home Vista, if you guys watched that vlog. I had to trace this across London, carrying it along with loads of other stuff, but it was worth it because I absolutely love it. And yeah, I've just styled a few pieces on here. We've got the Desenio print, which I kind of like the vintage feel. I've got this... Um, vase slash like big jug vase from Zara Home. I got these twigs from one of our local garden centers here, which is around here, which is really nice. And then just my Jo Malone candle. But I have to say, this is my new favorite scent from Jo Malone. It's the Myron Tonka. And oh my God, I used to always be more of a floral person, but this is such a beautiful scent that it's now made me love the perfume as well. So I went and got a little sample of the perfume and I've been wearing it so much. And then yeah, I've just styled it up slightly. I've just got one of the old mirrors that I had in my office space before. I'm actually gonna be ordering a few bigger mirrors to fill the bedrooms. Because just doing a makeshift area here for now this obviously isn't going to be my office space I'm going to be getting a desk and putting it in here and just having this as a bit of a filming space for now temporarily before we finish with the outhouse which is going to be my big studio and yeah as I mentioned we will be paneling in this room as well because eventually this is obviously going to be another guest bedroom okay so we've managed to paint this wall and across here as well and then you can kind of see now the difference of the color, if it focuses. You can see the color difference here. It's like a peachy yellow. And then obviously the color we've gone is the Wimble White. We see it looks a little bit messy here. That's just because this is where it's gonna be wallpapered. And I just think, I mean, you can't really see in this light, but it really does just open the space up and make it a little bit brighter. And we've actually ran out of paint. We need to just literally paint one wall on the far side. So I need to go to B&Q tomorrow, which is fine because I also need to get all of the stuff to obviously put the wallpaper on the walls, which we're going to be doing ourselves. And we need to get paneling for the other bedrooms that we're going to be doing, the other guest bedroom. So this is how the wallpaper is gonna look on here. So you get a kind of vision of it, if that makes sense. But I think when this room comes together, it's gonna to look great, because it's a really nice space. It brings in light from the window here. I'm gonna get lovely draped curtains and a blind on here. I've seen a nice linen one on blinds to go, actually. So yeah, I think this is gonna add a little bit of character in the room, adding the wallpaper to the back wall. It's gonna be a big four poster bed here. We're changing these units and then obviously dressing it and just making it feel a lot more like home. I'm gonna put a big rug as well. So I've ordered the bed, I've ordered the rug. We've got the wallpaper, so it's all good to go. I just basically need to go to B&Q and get all the stuff and do it, but I need Chris's help. So that will probably have to be in the next vlog, guys, because I feel like this one is going on, but I just keep staring at this wallpaper. It's so lovely. 
so yeah this room is an absolute mess as you can see this is just kind of life at the minute we're doing rooms each day as we go and then obviously I will pick up with you guys in the next vlog when we're going to be wallpapering this, finishing the paint, we're going to be paling in the other room and lots more exciting projects to come so I will see you guys in the next vlog.